I am very grateful to Mr. Hughes for preparing these children for, the, uh, for this very special day. So much of his time and work has gone into preparing these children for the First Holy Communion. I'm sure the parents will express their appreciation and gratitude to Mr. Hughes for all his work. May I say something which Mr. Hughes or I can't do anything about? The faith of your children. Nobody can teach faith. Nobody can teach faith. Faith is always caught. It has to come through the air we breathe. The children will get the faith through the mother, their mother's milk. Through their love and care. Through their own prayer life. So dear parents, I'm talking to you. Your children will get their faith only through you. You are the first teachers of your children in their faith. You may remember at the rite of baptism of your children, you heard these words from the celebrant. Addressing the parents the priest must have said these words. Dear parents, you are the first teachers of your child in the ways of faith. The first, the first teachers of your child in the ways of faith. And you are the best of teachers. May you be the best of teachers. Bearing witness to the faith by what they, what you say and do. May you be the best of teachers to your children by what you say and do. Have you been, have you been the best of teachers to your children? What is happening in the school is education indeed, mostly is science. Science deals with the, the word of things, the reality of things, what these things are made of, what this universe is. About this earth and everything on this earth, water, hydrogen and oxygen, water, Oh, they, those things are very important. We have to learn. The children, they will understand those things. They are taught those things in the classroom. And they suppose they are given the best education. And you are working very hard with your own work and job to give your children the best education. But learning science and maths, Having the best education is not enough. That is not enough. While science will deal with the word of things, faith will tell them the why. Your children will need an answer to the question why, the purpose, the meaning. When they learn the what of things, what things are made of, they should be given the, the faith to understand why these things are here. Why this life at all on this earth? What is the meaning of this life? What is the purpose of this life? What is the end of this life? All these things are dealt with only through faith. I like the words of James Hollis. Listen to this. In a few words, so much. Our endless endeavor, our endless endeavor, you and me, our endless endeavor to rest, 
meaning from this short visitation on this perilous planet. Not those words, short visitation. You and me are on a short visitation on this perilous planet. All of our attempt is to find meaning, to rest meaning, to gather meaning. You are here for this master to get meaning. What am I here for? What is the purpose of this life? Where do I go? Faith deal with, deal with all these existential and fundamental questions. Now the question to you and me is, do you, have you really Found, have you found the meaning of your life? Does faith come into your life to, to help you understand, to help you understand the purpose of this life? Are your children learning from you how to live this life? So when you teach them how to pray, do you have family prayer? Do you pray together? Do you have a meal together? Do you have thank the Lord together for the meal you enjoy? And parents, do you thank the Lord for your children? When you rejoice over the children, what do you really give thanks to God? Thank the Lord for them every day. Place them in the hands of the Lord every day. Jesus said, let the children come to me. The kingdom of God belongs to such as these. When I was, we say, listening to their confession, their first confession, the thought that came to my mind was, these are angels. They cannot commit any sins. I am the one who was sitting there as a sinner. My dear parents, you all have got angels in your hands. Handle them, handle them, handle them with care and prayer. Very precious. Some passages when you receive, you have on the outside written, handle with care because what is inside is very fragile. Fragile. Very fragile. You can make them or break them. These angels in your hands, you can always keep them as angels. Let them help them grow up as angels, as children of God. By the way, you teach them the ways of faith. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them the stories of the Bible to them. You may have a lot of stories for their bedtime, but tell them the stories of Jesus, the parables of Jesus, and teach them about Jesus. Only when they have a Jesus in their hearts, in their life, they will know how to live this life. In other words, in other words, when you teach them to pray, you are teaching them to live. Make sure you practice your faith. Celebrate your faith by coming to Mass and bring your children to this to Mass as often as you can so that they will enjoy a special friendship with Jesus, not just today, in all the days and the years to come. Thank you.